Hey guys, this is Juan Zuniga and this is Jen Stick. Today I'm gonna to talk about how I carry. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the holsters that I have and how I use them and how I carry on from casual to a more dressier way. All right guys, so let's go. I'll show you each holster and I'll show you how, why I like it and the reason why I use it, all right? All right, so the first holster is this one right here. It's this beauty right here. Um, it's by Sowa Leather. This is my favorite holster. It's the most comfortable, is the one I use the most. Um, I've had this for over a year now. Uh, this is for my shield and I love it. Thank you to my beautiful wife for this. This was a Christmas present and they're pretty pricey um, considering uh, the, the fact that you can get a holster for like 20 bucks. However, these are handmade, so they're worth every penny. They're worth, I mean, it takes some time and it took me about three months to get it. So it was ordered in December. My wife thought I was gonna get it by Christmas, but she didn't read. And um, it actually tells you how long it's gonna take. And it, I didn't get it until March, but it was worth the wait. It was worth the money and I love it. The, the cool thing about this is you can use it in waistband or outside the waistband and the design, uh, the feel of it, the leather is amazing and they have so many options out in there and you can customize them however you want. Um, like I said, this is my favorite holster. This is the best one. I use this one a lot for casual wear, um, either wearing shorts or jeans or chinos. Um, never would use it for dress pants. Um, I think this one's great for casual and especially for the shield is unnoticeable. Nobody will know I have this on me and it's just so comfortable. I forget I have it on me. This is the most comfortable holster you'll ever have. And it's like I said, it's worth every penny, every cent, and every every week or month that you wait for it. Um, check them out. I have the link below for this holster. And like I said, you're not gonna, going to regret it. All right, so this one is for my Glock 19. Um, like you know, you guys know I have a flashlight on it. So I wanted a holster where uh, I could have it with my flashlight on. So I got this from Gundo. They actually have pretty cool styles. Um, not, so much, not so much styles, but colors. They have a lot of different colors for Kydex. And this is actually pretty good. I can use this one with a t-shirt and shorts. And for some reason, this is the best holster I could find for my Glock 19. And for some reason, it's so unnoticeable. All right, um, it is sometimes, you know, because the Glock 19, it is a little heavier than my shield. So if I've been using my shield for a long time, for a few weeks and I get my 19, I can feel the weight difference. And after a while, I get a little tired, you know, whatever. But if I use it constantly, I get used to it. But this is the most comfortable holster I've been able to find for my Glock 19. Uh, I looked around and I couldn't find one. Especially, not so, I mean, I could have gotten one from Sawa Leather, but I wanted one where, like I said, I could have a flashlight on it. This was the best I could find, and I don't regret it. Um, it took a few weeks to get, because they ma they, they're made to order, basically. These holsters, holsters are not that pricey. They run about 50, 60 bucks, and they're great. And they even come with a wing on it, so it helps you conceal it better. I don't like it. Um, I took that's why I took it off. I actually feel like I can conceal it better without it But some people like it and some people use it and they swear by it But this one's by Gundo great holster. Like I said, I'll have the link below to this one as well This is my other holster for my shield I actually have two holsters for my shield and this one is made out of Kydex and this one's from Harry's holsters I use this one a lot when I'm using workout clothes It makes my shield feel thin. Um, I can't use my Sawa leather holster when I'm wearing back basketball shorts because the retention is not there and because it's leather and it's a little bigger for me to use with basketball shorts. But this one's perfect because it's Kydex. Um, the reason I love Kydex is because I feel like is the, the amount of bulk that it adds is minimal. So Kydex is the way to go if you want to have a minimal holster. Um, the reason I like this one too is because they included a utility clip. Um, these babies have a, an amazing retention on it. Um, you put your shorts there and you close it up, or, you're, or even if you're wearing pants or, or you know, regular shorts without a belt, 
um, you put your you put it in there and you close it up and that thing stays tight it's not gonna open it's a great clip I love this clip and if you guys wanna even you can even buy this clip on its own and put it on any of your holsters and just change the clips on your holsters and you'll have a, an amazing retention with this clip and when you're drawing you know the, the holster's not gonna go with it the holster's gonna stay put the way it should be and you're gonna be able to take out the gun but like I said amazing holster by Harry's holsters they have a good variety of holsters and you can have you know ready to ship holsters and you can do the custom holster and they run about 60 bucks so all Kydex are around the same price so you're not gonna I mean you can try to shop around but you're not gonna find a lot cheaper than that so good quality well made and they were pretty quick on the delivery and I love it the other reason I love these holsters too unlike other Kydex is because they actually have if, I don't know if you can see well in there they have different holes so you can change the angle or the cant on the holster to match your needs. Some people like with the cant on it, some people don't. So that's pretty cool that they have different holes in different places for them to do that. So Harry's holsters, the link will be below and um, so you guys can check them out. All right, so this is my other setup. Um, this, is some, this is more when I'm a little more dressed up. I use this one because sometimes I'm wearing dress pants without belts because I don't have belt, belt loops or I'm wearing suspenders. So it, it makes it a little harder for me to conceal when that happens. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my prior video on TMF of me using the belly band. I like the belly band, and, but I haven't used it in a while because I've been using shirts that are more fitted. Um, the problem with the belly band is that you can't use shirts that are too fitted because if you do, the gun will show. You'll be printing. And um, that's the problem with it. Um, I'm, you don't have to wear baggy shirts, but they have to be a little looser than normal. But I've been using more fitted shirts, so the belly band wasn't working. So I had to come up with a different way of carrying my shield when I'm dressing up. Um, so I, I bought this. This is a Remora holster. This is one of those sticky holsters and it fits perfectly for my shield. All right, this is perfectly to go in there and, and carry my shield and protects the trigger from accidental discharges. And I use this from This Is Ground. Um, this thing is actually for your, you know, uh, business cards, pens, your iPad, and et cetera, et cetera but I don't use it for that. I took the metal magnetic um, divider and I actually put my holster and my gun in there. I put it in a way where I can close it and carry my gun, you know, all zipped up and carry it like, like this in my hand. This thing is always on my hand. I'll never put it down. I'll never let it go when I have it on me. So this is always with me. And I carry it around and to open the zipper is actually pretty easy. So, I mean, it's not as easy as drawing from drawing your holster from your waist, but at least you have something there, or at least I have something there that if I need it, I have access to it. So these are my four methods of carry. This, these are the ways I carry. Um, the cool thing about them is that they all work for me. They might not work for you, but they work for me and I, and I love them. I have tried them, I have practiced with them, and I have made sure that I know how to use them if the time comes. Um, check each and one of them. I have the link below to everything. And you know, let me, let me know what you guys think about this and if I should modify it or try to change it somehow. Or maybe just give me some um, recommendations on which holsters you guys like and I'll check them out and see if I can work them out on my rotation. All right guys, so I hope you liked this video. I'm gonna put a link below to all the holsters and to the clip so you guys can shop for them. All right guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.